If you're in need of additional prayer time this morning, our prayer room provides a quiet space for personal reflection. Prayer ministers are also available if you would like someone to pray with you. In John 3, we're told that God loved us so much that God was willing to do anything and do everything to change us, to recycle us. The church word is to redeem us, to help us to experience the perks, the benefits of God's love, and to let us know that no matter what we have done or failed to do, there is nothing that can separate us from God's love. Most of you know that we'll be housing the homeless as part of the winter shelter program from January 14th through the 21st. And many of you have already volunteered to help out. In addition to the meals and shelter, we also provide toiletries, and this is another area in which you can help out. There will be a collection box in the Northex for things like laundry detergent pods, hand warmers, washcloths, towels, and toiletries of all sizes. So when you shop for your own family, consider picking up something extra and bring it into the donation box. All donations are greatly appreciated and the final planning meeting for this event will be on January 5th at 7 p.m. Also, we are still in need of breakfast casseroles, so sign up on one of the clipboards or put a note on the tear-off panel. Thank you for all you do. Do you have a heart for the youth of today? Do you believe in the power of prayer? If so, join us on Sunday nights as we come together for a short period of prayer focused on our youth. We meet at 6 o'clock in the cry room for 10 to 15 minutes or however long is needed and simply join our hearts and minds in prayer. If you're dropping off your child for youth group, stick around for a few minutes and lift them up or their friends in prayer. Contact Jennifer Snipes if you need more information. That's every Sunday at 6. Everyone is welcome. One of the new classes we have coming up is called Unleashed for the Gospel. Here's a little information about what it means to be unleashed. The sun rose and work began. Word of a better day spread throughout the people. A day free from bondage. This hope carried them through their labor. They knew their God was faithful, that he had a plan, one to set them free, to a land promised by God to his people, for his people, a plan of redemption, but they lost focus. Turned away from the God who was faithful, worshiped false idols, turned back to the very culture God was rescuing them from, turned back to their past, to bondage. So they wandered and wandered. They began to grumble and curse the God who rescued them. They would never set foot in the land they were promised they would never be unleashed. But God's plan perseveres despite the disobedience of his people. He waited for a new generation to rise up from the dust, one that would step out from their wandering and into the purpose for which God was calling them, to be a nation set apart that would bring glory to him. He continues to call those courageous followers out of the desert, away from our wanderings, to be God's representatives here on earth, to be unleashed from the bondage of our past, unleashed from being brainwashed by culture, unleashed with the backbone to lead the church, unleashed with the boldness to serve the world, unleashed for the gospel. He calls his people to be unleashed. Being unleashed for the gospel requires that we first be transformed by the gracious gift God has given us through Jesus Christ. Then, as our lives, our small groups, and our ministries are shaped by the gospel, God will use us to transform the world. Join us for this seven-week study starting Wednesday, January 7th at 6.30. 
Do you have an old cell phone like this that you don't use anymore? You don't know what to do with? Well, here's an idea. Bring it to church and leave it in the donation box in an Arthex. Once we have about 20 phones, we can recycle them through the I Donate program and the church will receive a donation for them. It's a win-win situation all the way around. Your phones won't be cluttering up the home and worse yet, up in the landfill. And the church will make some money. If you need more information, please speak to John Stedman. Can you hear me now? If you would like to go on the next mission trip to Pensacola, Florida from February 1st through the 7th, there is still time to sign up. The next organizational meeting is on January 4th at 1230 or after the 1115 service, whichever comes last.